rate of acceleration and change in technologies really is accelerating the need for changes in curriculum. We need to be able to bridge that gap. And the way that we do that is through these industry academia partnerships. Our partner organization here is sort of international. Model-based systems engineering, it does what it's supposed to do. It accelerates our ability to improve technology and improve our processes. MBSC really forces you to think differently, more holistically, about the product you're helping engineer. It's often reserved for master's level courses if it's taught at all. But the University of Michigan is changing the game here by getting future engineers to think differently much earlier. This program really gives the University of Michigan graduates a big advantage. I believe it's critically important to teach MBSE to undergrads. We started this course in March of 2020. We launched it all virtual for the first year of the pilot. Obviously, we felt that there was a missing component, and that was hands-on experience. We wanted to make this a really welcoming space for the students, this place they wanted to come to. We have a thousand square feet or so here, which is a fair amount for an instruction lab space. We actually designed some workstations that are fixed and we can do experiments, uh, both CAD and lab experiments in. We also have a couple of extra stations. We can break them down very easily and we can create two five foot by five foot workspaces for students. They have 40 inch monitors, really, really high end graphics capabilities so that we can do flow simulation and structural simulation with some of the best tools that industry has to offer. My eyes lit up. I got involved because of all the wonderful opportunities that they're doing here. We are actually starting to create aircraft in-house. One of the biggest benefits, I think, of the MBSC lab that we have is the teaming aspect. Teams are in here all of the time throughout the day just to either assemble components or just to do homework together and really foster that amazing culture that they have within their team. I've really gotten to see within the design reviews held by Aerospace 495 what industry personnel are really expecting from their engineers at different stages of the design process. What MBSC Lab has been able to teach us is more along the lines of actual industry work, like what you're actually going to be expected to do you know, when you get these jobs. A lot of recruiters actually ask me about my experience with model-based systems engineering when they see that I have this on my resume. I think that's where the Michigan difference comes into play. The bigger picture is that the University of Michigan Aerospace program isn't just, okay, let's get our students out the door. It's okay, we want our students to be prepared to be able to make a meaningful impact in the future. And so let's prepare them for that.